The tapered candle holders are a great project. It's a great project because it uses a simple technique, which I think you'll really enjoy. And that technique is to create a curved, kind of artistic kerf within our main block, and then gluing up a slip of contrasting wood. Now in this case, I've chosen maple, and for my contrasting wood, a piece of mahogany. Now I chose mahogany because it's soft and flexible. Not only does it need to bend to the kerf, but it needs to conform to the somewhat irregular cut that a bandsaw is going to make. And so with the softer wood, when we glue it up, it'll be a nice, tight glue line. To start the process, I've created a template out of masonite. And so this is the profile of my candle holder. I'll place that profile on my wooden block, and I'm going to trace the outline. Now you'll notice I've made my block plenty oversized. We're going to go through a couple of glue-ups. And during those glue-ups, things can move just a little bit. So we want everything to be a little oversized, and we'll trim it later. Now, with my profile in place, I now get to lay out my lines where I want that contrasting wood to go. So I'm going to use two slips on either side. I've got a very flexible steel ruler here, and I'm just going to go ahead and lay them out. Now there's no rules here, you just have to do what looks good to your eye. I think it's kind of nice to do one S curve and then one gentle curve. All right, there you go. So you can see I've got my two accent lines and my profile for our candle holder. So with that done, I need to go to the bandsaw and make my first cut. Well, I've made my bandsaw cut, and it's time to glue things up. So one thing I want to show you is that I've had this slip of mahogany in a plastic bag, and I wet it beforehand, so it's been absorbing moisture for a couple of hours. That additional moisture will help make it a little more flexible and make the glue-up go easier. The only thing you have to remember is, since we've added additional moisture to this wood, it's going to take a little longer to dry, so leave things in the clamps overnight. Now, as with any glue-up, I want to apply glue to all the surfaces. I'm going to begin clamping with a single clamp directly in the center, and just lightly draw things together. Now, as you can see, things are reasonably well positioned. And so with that done, I can go ahead and apply additional clamps and really put the squeeze to things. Well, as you can see here, I have four contrasting pieces of wood glued into my block. So with that done, our job now is to go ahead and cut the profiles of our candlestick. I'm going to do that on one side first, then I'll take these off cuts, tape them in place, and then I'll be able to flip my block, and it'll be fully supported, and I'll have profile lines on the other side. Well, sanding our candlesticks can be done in a number of ways. You can use a drum sander or a belt sander if you like, but I think maybe the best way is to simply make a sanding block curved to match the shape of our candlesticks and use a little PSA sandpaper. Now I'm starting with 80 grit, and I'll probably go to 120 and finish with 180. So we'll work all the sides, get things nice and smooth, and then we'll be ready to drill the hole for the candle. The last step in constructing our candle holder is going to be to drill a hole for this decorative brass liner. So I have a 7 8 inch Forstner bit in my drill press for a nice clean hole. The last step with the candle holders is going to be to add a little wipe-on finish to really see that contrast between the two woods pop.
woodsmithplans.com. Hundreds of professional, high-quality woodworking plans right at your fingertips. Every single plan is presented as an easy-to-download digital package that includes pages of step-by-step -step instructions, full-color photos, illustrations, and exploded views, retail sources for hardware and supplies, plus a cutting diagram and materials list. Many plans offer handy video overviews and guides. Plus, we're proud to offer our plans in both standard and metric. Everything is here, from gorgeous heirloom furniture projects to handy shop projects and upgrades, clever, cost-effective storage solutions, as well as weekend projects and accessories that are great for gifts. All fully searchable and categorized for easy browsing. WoodsmithPlans.com, everything you need for building fine woodworking projects.